I'm going to read portions of a speech, a powerful speech by the director of the ecology movement of Novi Sad in Serbia. See what you think of this. He says, National Assembly and the government of Serbia, the recent events surrounding the intentions for legalizing the growing genetically modified organisms, GMO, have shown that these GMO plans must be put under public supervision and control since they betray the national interests of the Serbian people. They must not play with the state and our lives no matter who wants them. The legalization of the growing GMO in Serbia would mean that we would have to open our borders to import such food and products. Import of such hazardous foods would start the biggest genocide over the Serbian people. To those swashbucklers in charge, it was too little or they are really in a hurry, so they came up with a new technique in which they began treating us like insects. See our sky, Serbian citizens. You can see it for yourself. See the traces of poison that comes from unmarked planes daily. From the moment when our own government signed the so-called Partnership for Peace on December 14, 2006, the sky over Serbia is completely under the network of poison trails, which felonious planes pour daily like we are insects and not people. Above us are implemented vivo experiments, as in concentration camps during World War II. Above us is open genocide. Our traitorous government allowed it. They have sold their own people in order to remain in the position they were brought by criminal representatives of foreign agencies. Do you have a right to be a coward? Can you be a coward when you and your children are constantly sprayed with poisons of which nobody in our government will tell you what toxins we are being bombarded with? Publicly, I demand that the army of Serbia constitutionally defend its people and its skies over Serbia. They should take down unmarked planes and the criminals who are carrying out genocide over our population. Soldiers, defend your people in the sky over Serbia. Do not wait for the command of traitorous management, because when they give the command, we are no more. You've sworn to the people of Serbia and not some foreign leaders who trample on the Constitution. Somebody sold us to the felons. Somebody sold the sky over Serbia to those felons so that they could poison us. Somebody in Serbia gave permission to those criminals so that they could use unmarked planes for poisoning as a beginning of genocide of the Serbian population. The crime of genocide never expires. If the public prosecutor doesn't start doing his job today, the people will do it themselves because it's over our heads. None of us know in which generation may happen already planned sterility. In which generation will they wipe us out from the geopolitical map of the world? This poisoning must be stopped one way or another so that we will not experience fatal consequences. Now this is a question for the Serbian people. Therefore I say to Boris Tadic personally, if you don't stop the poisoning of people from planes, or if you don't stop importing food based upon GMO, then I, Nikola Aleksic, will call the people of Serbia to get on the streets, and I will be the first, but not to crush the system, but to defend the Constitution and the current applicable laws and rights for our future. People of Serbia, I call upon you to defend our natural and constitutional right with all available resources, our right to healthy lives, our sacred right to the future and the future of your children's children, to defend our natural and the constitutional right to exist. About the time and place for going out into the streets, I will promptly notify you in public. You can be sure that I, Nikola Aleksic, will keep my word, even at the cost of my own life. So there you have it. It's a, it's a real contrast to like if I point out uh, chemtrails to somebody here, you know, they'll go, yeah, isn't that like something to fix global warming or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, they must know what they're doing, right? <laughs>